bundle up if you're going out tonight. So once again, out of the Nicholas Golf Club, the big pond out there froze about a week ago. So it's been a week of freezing, and it can be a very dangerous thing. So we sent out Michelle Apon into the cold, and she investigated. It has been below freezing for a week and a half, and many of our lakes and ponds has ice forming on it. Now, is it safe enough to walk on? Joining me right now is Gene Kotlinski. He's going to go ahead and measure the ice to see if it's safe to stand on. Uh, what we do is we drill into the, to the ice uh, on the shore, uh, our first measurement, to see if we have four inches. Is this safe to walk on? As he drills and, and uh, takes his measurement, if it's uh, less than four inches, the lake is not safe to skate. We check the shoreline first. If the shoreline's safe, we walk out with the guys on the harness, check more measurements out in the middle of the lake. If we're finding less than four inches, then the lake's not safe. Other factors to look out for are holes, cracks, and water flowing near the edges. If the texture is slushy or mottled, then it's probably thawing and will not support any weight. Also check the color of the ice. Is it light gray or black? That means it's melting. If it's blue to clear, that means it's dense, and then you can check to see just how thick it is. Most importantly, check for signs and use extreme caution. Reporting in Kansas City, Michelle Apon, 41 Action News.